Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and I've been reading Juvenal uh, from the from the Sixteen Satires, uh, and I, I read it at a really good time. So for for this month, um, I've um, been focusing on Roman literature, Roman nonfiction, every, everything Roman, and uh, I, I was reading the Eclogues by Virgil. Um, <clears throat> And w just wanted a different taste of Roman poetry. I already know that I like uh, Horace. I've read some Marshall and Catullus, um, and, I, and and I've read the satires before, uh, but it's it's been a while, and I, I wanted to read something that was a bit more um, entertaining. And <laughs> the beginning of satire one was just per perfectly placed. Uh, in in my own reading. So this is how satire uh, one begins. Um, Must I always be stuck in the audience at these poetry readings, never on the platform myself, taking it out on Cordis from the times he's bored me to death with ranting speeches from that Theseid of this, uh, his ex to get off scot-free after in inflicting his farces on me, or why his elegies? Is there no recompense for whole days wasted on prolix, versions of Telephus, and what about that Orestes? <laughs> and so this is a disgruntled audience member just getting stuck having to listen to boring poetry readings. And I read that after reading just a, a random selection of um, Virgil, Virgil's Eclogues. And Virgil is a poet that's really patting himself on the back. Uh, of course, everything I'm reading is in translation, so there's all of the uh, beauty of the language missing and all of that. But these poems were... The characters will say, um, I, I'm, I'm a beautiful lyrical poet. And someone else says, well, I'm even more of a beautiful lyrical poet. And so they decide to have impromptu um, poetry matches while they'll sing to each other. And then they'll just drag someone off the street and say, listen to how beautiful we sing our poetry. And then uh, somebody will say, well, you clearly listen to how beautiful these poems poems are that that's in in the poem like it's, to, to me it's, it's a, a, like a modern day version of, of rap battles uh, bragging about how great you are at uh, your lyrics compared to the other person's lyrics and so this is Virgil's uh, what is this eclogue seven um, you nymphs I love let me sing like Cordris for he is my friend and a singer divine. But if his music can have no rival, I'll leave my shrill fruit to hang on your pine. You shepherds, crown me your budding singer. Let Codrus burst with jealousy. Or if he flatter me, wreathe him with foxgloves, lest sugary words harm your bard to be. And on top of everything else, it's artificial. It's it's this fake version of happy Roman life out on the countryside where there are no ills, there is no conflict, just people walking around singing to each other. And I just had that in mind when I started reading um, Satire 1 by, by Juvenal. Must I always be stuck in the audience at these poetry readings, never on the platform myself? So this immediate discontent, this, this conflict. Uh, here, here are these people up there just uh, harping on these platitudes and uh, hackneyed phrases and uh, again, again with the nymphs and again with the Aristes and again with all of these stories that we've heard a thousand times. There, there, are, all, there are already um, great, great stories and poems um, 
of, of uh, traditional mythology. And he, here we are at this poetry reading, and everyone's just rehashing uh, the, the same old, tired um, language and l lyrics and pompousness. Uh, <clears throat> and Juvenal is this, the, the energy, the piercing, perceptive uh, anger in his voice just rings all off of off of the page. Th this is uh, a voice of someone that you can imagine is yelling and hollering and, and getting excited, um, talking to his friends, and getting so worked up that he's writing these things down. And the great thing about these uh, satires, uh, Satire 1, just as an example, is he's so wound up, you can practically hear him saying, and another thing, and he'll go off topic. He goes from um, po poetry readings to um, the miserableness of um, um, everyday life, uh, poverty on, on the street. He, he yells at the people... Uh, in office and in power and the great thing is he's specific he, he's naming uh, names so it reads like an editorial this like scathing satire that would possibly be in uh, a newspaper or on the the cover of a magazine on a, on a newsstand but this is 2,000 years old, something like that, uh, and the, the, the emotional charge, the, the intensity, um, the intellectual perceptiveness of what exactly is wrong with the situation, uh, the, re the relatability of um, just human activity 2,000 years ago, and what would be annoying then is still annoying now it's incredible um, and um, the, the more I, I was reading the notes and you realize that he's really like picking on certain people or making fun of certain things um, I've actually read this a, a few times uh, satire one I've been kind of going back and forth but um, Really great fun, a great um, counterbalance to all the other things that I've uh, been reading. Biographies of um, great men or not so great men, forgettable men. Uh, histories, reading um, Tacitus. I've been reading uh, a book on the daily life of ancient Rome, but these kind of larger scale um, Roman histories, uh, even the biographies are uh, large historical events. And reading Juvenal really puts you on uh, a street level view of what's, what's going on. What are people talking about? What are people irritated about? Um, and J Juvenal just has an incredibly sharp eye just zeroes in on little details uh, that are just incredibly that are just relatable um, the the 2,000 years uh, doesn't feel like anything so I'm having a great time with um, juvenile I'm having still a great time with uh, all of my Roman history for the month I thought I'd share uh, a little bit um, so those are some of my thoughts. Let me know if you like uh, Juvenal, if you've read Juvenal. Uh, so leave a comment if you would like, and thank you for watching.